today a nice uh, finger style guitar uh, well shall we say classic uh, and uh, so I played for the first uh, riff of the intro right now and uh, I can take it a bit slower uh, those of you who are not familiar with finger style playing basically one of the rules which can be broken is that <laughs> you use your right hand thumb to play the bass strings that is E, A and D and then you use like the other fingers to play the other strings the treble strings okay and that's uh, usually you, you play the G string with the index finger B string with the middle finger and ring finger on the E string okay so if you play this slowly it's gonna be this Final bar, um, that little chord here, f uh, 4 fret on D and um, open G, 5, 5th fret on B and uh, open E, uh, that, that final, that open E here, I don't know if they actually play it, but kind of sounds like they do, but you know, you might skip it if you want, you just play the top 3 notes, the bottom 3 notes, like this, okay? So skip the high E string. Right, and the final little note there is a quick come around from open A to second fret. Right. Final note in the final bar. Uh, okay, so that's the first uh, kind of riff. Um, then you, uh, you're gonna play it four times. Then here on the second side you're gonna have um, the continuation of the intro, so it's slightly different. The first line Okay, so that's the first line. And then the second line is almost the same except for one little thing, is that uh, the very first note that I pointed out with the arrow here, uh, in the first line the first note is a quarter note, right? Then in the second line that same first note is an eighth note, and then instead they play the uh, the f uh, third fret on the B fourth note as a quarter note in the second line, right? And they play it as an eighth note in the first line. And well, you have everything in the tab, but that's the only difference between those two lines, okay? Uh, so the second line. You played the second line three times, uh, and the first time once. Um, and I really don't have that much to say about this. Uh, it's kind of uh, straight, well, it's not straightforward maybe, but it's a lot of arpeggiation, you know, with your right hand fingers. And, um, and actually, if you look at the third bar, we have this big chord here. Okay, so that's basically, you play 2nd fret on E and then you have open D, 2nd fret on G and 3rd on B. You play this, you strike it with your, with your right fingers and then you pull off basically all your fingers to open strings. Okay? And then, yeah, then what follows is... Yeah, then this little thing here, sorry. Little slide at the end of the third bar. Basically, you put the third fret on D and the second on G and hit it, and quickly slide up two frets. Okay, to five and four. Okay, 
and then in the final bar he plays uh, second fret on D with an open E and then he hammers on the fourth fret on D okay so and keep, make sure to keep the G string ringing okay so don't mute it with your finger when you do the hammer on which is not as simple as it may sound <laughs> okay so you have to keep the finger kind of you know higher up so to say because if you do it like this you're gonna mute the, the G string and you want it to ring out okay the final three notes uh, I'm not sure if they do the full pull off three two or if they pull off three two and then strike the A with the right hand finger. Ah. Minor nuance. Um, okay. And here, slide three. And that's the uh, kind of a very short slide. Uh, that's the little riff that precedes the verse riff, okay? So. Okay, and a bit slower. So, uh, uh, second note here, again, like a quick hammer on from open to second fret on A and then it's basically the minor, uh, E minor chord all the way here and then the final two notes in the first bar is open G and E hammer on to second fret on both strings okay, so like this Second bar okay. like a quick little slide into the fourth fret on G there like this and again I'm um, no, make sure to you know, keep those you know, almost in all those riffs uh, uh, almost all the time make sure to keep the notes ringing out especially the open strings because it's it's very easy to mute them you know, when you're you know, moving your fingers around but uh, in most cases you don't want to mute the open strings because then you add this uh, nice uh, rich uh, sound to the to the chords right with the open strings okay uh, okay and here slide number four the verse riff um, goes like this Slower, um, and I guess the kind of tough part is to do this hammer on from open at the end of the first uh, bar, the hammer on from open D and B to third and fourth fret, respectively. Here, um, well, it's not that hard, uh, and no, I like to do it you know, with my pinky on the third fret on uh, fourth fret on D uh, because then you're gonna you know, play that note in the second bar at the beginning of the second bar uh, so I kind of like to do it here to so, you know, keep my economy uh, of finger movements uh, short so like this okay so if I play this whole thing slowly Basically, you know, if you can, uh, you can see for yourself those two bars here uh, are repeated three times, um, and then you have like two new bars at the end of the second line. Okay, and those should be straightforward here. So here, slide number five, we're gonna have the kind of chorus riff, if you can call it the chorus. Um, so it goes like this. Okay, and you're gonna play the slide twice, and um, 
this part is kind of maybe the least complicated riff in all song, uh, so a bit slower then. you play this first chorus, you're gonna play the verse and chorus one more time, you know, exactly as before. Uh, so you have to go back one slide and then come back here, play the chorus riff. And after the second chorus, you're gonna play the second line here on this slide and it's... Uh, you have this little melody that, that leads into the interlude, which we have on the next slide, okay? So a bit slower. Here, yeah, by the way, if you're not, again, if you're not familiar with uh, you know, playing melodies, finger style, uh, once you uh, um, <laughs> come to that part, uh, try to do like, you know, alternate picking, so to speak, with your index and middle fingers, okay? So, like this. interlude slide number six uh, we're gonna go back to this arpeggiated lines more or less so okay so that's the first uh, five bars and then we're gonna kind of end it on uh, yeah on the second bar uh, sorry second bar in the second slide which kind of leads us into the um, well, the repetition. <laughs> and so what they do differently there, when they repeat this riff, when they start uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, for the second and third time, is that they do this little slide into the, the seventh fret here, okay? So, uh, they, don't do what, they don't do that the first time they play it. But you know, minor nuance, but you know, kind of nice little you know grace note. Okay. Um, so uh, okay, if I play this whole thing a bit slower, then You will not play the second bar, second line f at the third repeat. Instead, they do kind of they do this kind of little melody that I usually don't play. And I just you know I just do uh, you know, I just rest on the low E string like this for those two bars at the end of the second line um, and. Uh, if you want, you can play this melody instead, I mean... Yeah, it sounds kind of solo like that. <laughs> After that, we're gonna have uh, a guitar solo that I am not playing here in this lesson. Uh, uh, but here, slide 7. So what we're gonna play now is that uh, we're gonna play the verse riff twice um, as a backing riff for the guitar solo. Okay, and you have the verse riff on slide 4, um, and then you follow it up by twice on the chorus riff, and that's uh, the first line on slide 5. And after that you play the verse riff twice again, um, and that's slide 4. Right, and finally, after this final verse riff, we come here to, this, uh, to slide 8 uh, for the ending riffs, and they go like this.
guess that's the first time. I'm gonna play it four times and um, a bit slower. the ending riff and that's it yeah, it's played a little bit faster but yeah anyway um, that's the ending riff uh, and um, yeah that's the whole song <laughs> have fun with that um, I you know I spent quite a lot, some time you know looking at this uh, uh, at this song, I looked at different tabs. I, you know, I obviously made my own uh, ear-based uh, transcription also as well, and compared with other people. And uh, I looked at the live videos to, you know, make sure where where they play all those different riffs. And uh, I, I, you no, know, I cannot promise you like one hundred percent accurate tabs for this song because it's not easy to hear all the all the notes. But. Um, I think it's you know, very close to accuracy anyway. Uh, I hope you like it and have fun. <laughs> 